In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The true light that gives light to everyone was coming into the world. And though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. And as he went even to his own people to save them, they did not receive him. But to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. And out of his fullness, we have all received grace. Because grace and truth came through him. For he is the light to this world, and whoever follows him will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Good day, people of God. This is Pastor Kelvin Baker, Senior Pastor of the Way Fellowship Church. I want to take this opportunity to, to thank you so much for the privilege uh, to participate in this video clip of highlighting your favorite verse, your favorite verse, the verse that does something extraordinary for you. And so my favorite, my favorite verse is in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 23. And it simply says that whatever you do in word and in deed, do it heartily as unto God rather than man. That simply means you just put all of your heart, all of your soul into what you're doing and you do it in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Colossians 3, 23. May God bless you and keep you and looking forward to hearing your favorite verse. God bless you. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. I love this verse of scripture because uh, it summarizes God's relationship with humanity and it also shows us the way of salvation. Uh, this scripture tells us the love that God has for us and to the extent that he sent his son to die on her behalf on the cross of Calvary. And it, it also teaches us that if only or whoever believes in him will never perish but have everlasting life. Child of God, that is our foundation, the salvation that God has given unto mankind. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Good morning. My name is Dr. Brenda Davis. I thank God for the opportunity and thank my pastor, Pastor Baker, for the opportunity to be able to share my favorite Bible verse with you. And my favorite Bible verse is Jeremiah 29, verse 11. And it states, For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. I thank God for this word. All it means is that our Lord has plans for us. His plans are for us to have a great future, to prosper. And he wants us to always have great expectations for ourselves because he has great expectations for us. Thank you and you have a blessed day. Hello, my favorite Bible verse is Proverbs 3 verses 6. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. In all that you do, in your daily routine and in life, acknowledge the presence of God, and he definitely 
will lead and direct you. My favorite verse is from Hosea. Hosea 4, 6, where it says, My people suffer, oh, no, it says, My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priests. Because you have ignored the law of your God. I also will ignore your children. That's a very profound verse to me because sometimes we think about some of the things that we as a people are suffering through and we try to make sense of it and try to ask questions. You know, we don't want to question God, but we just wonder why we're going through so much. And I think about what that verse says to me in Hosea 4, 6. And that is simply about our people suffering from lack of knowledge. Knowledge is the key. And that's really simple, yet very profound. And that's my favorite verse. Proverbs 3, verses 13 through 17. Blessed are those who find wisdom, those who gain understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you can desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways and all her paths are peace. My favorite Bible verse is Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Well, that has been my verse, favorite memory verse, since I can remember when I went to visit my doctor and the writing was on the wall, and I kept repeating the same verse for over an hour while I waited on him. And that same very day, he led me to Christ, so... I continue to keep it first in my life because I see where that it worked and everything that I want asked for it has been granted on to me maybe not be on my time but always on time so therefore I continue to keep him first above everything else and my priority is him he's my first love and everything and um, so I continue to keep him first in my life so seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and everything you ask for will be granted unto you. As long as, you know, you keep him first, you will see the glory of the Lord. Matthew 6.33 Good day, members of the Way Fellowship Church. This is Deacon McLean, and I'm here to present my favorite verse of the Bible, which comes from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse number 1, which states that, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. For me, this is the first test that separates believers from non-believers. And anyone who truthfully believes in the Father will understand and believe that he created this heaven and the earth and everything that's in it and of it. For me, by being on earth, I know that I have a Father I can come to. And because he created this earth, that means that he can solve and do everything of and in this earth. And whatever... The many things that he's done for me, he can do for everybody else. And I just assure knowing that we got a father we can come to, we can pray to, and knowing that he can solve all our problems. And he can bless us like he put us on this earth to be blessed. I want to thank you for the Way Fellowship Baptist Church and have a good night. Good morning, the Way Fellowship Church and family members. Nicole Williams here. My favorite Bible verse is Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall make your path straight. Hallelujah. Hope to see you soon. Hello, church family. Minister Nancy Crawley here. Yes, pastor asked us to give one of our favorite scriptures. 
a scripture that comes to mind that has gotten me through so many difficult challenges in my life, through the ups and the downs. I remember being in college and struggling and studying for exams and wondering how I was going to get it all done. The scripture that comes to mind is Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthens me. I have turned to that scripture so many times when facing difficult challenges in life, knowing that greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world, and I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. God bless. I've heard it said that if you have the faith of a mustard seed, you can move mountains. Therefore, my favorite Bible verse is St. Mark eleven twenty four, which states, Whatsoever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive it, and ye shall have it. Reverend Darrell Baker. Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ that gives me strength. Amen. Good morning, church. I want to share with you the Bible verse that I go to um, when I really want to talk to God. And um, I just found this verse by chance one day reading through the Psalms. And it really resonated with me. And so when I want to really reach out to God and I really go to him in prayer, I go to Psalm 55, and that Psalm says, Give ear to my prayer, O God, and hide not thyself from my supplication. Attend unto me and hear me. I mourn in my complaint and make a noise. And the rest of that, that Psalm really talks about uh, reaching out to God, begging God to hear your prayer, begging God to remove everything that is trying to bring you down and come against you. And it talks about being at peace. And it also talks about if you had wings like a dove, you'd just fly away and be at peace, knowing that God is there for you. Have a blessed day. Hi, friends. Today I want to share a verse with you from Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10, that says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that we may be able to stand against the wires of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and against powers and against rulers of darkness of this age. As we continue in this year 2020, we find ourselves facing different challenges and battles. We, we, we know that there is a secret war for the souls of this nation for the souls of this world so as we as believers it's our it, 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 it's our due diligence to be to, to stand against the wires of the devil and to understand that we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities and against powers and rulers of darkness of this age um, and the, 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 the second verse that, that, that applies to this verse that says for um, 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verse 4 that says for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty true God for the pulling down of strongholds. Be blessed and stand for Jesus in this time. If you don't stand for something, you will not fall for anything. My favorite verse is 2 Samuel 22:33. It is God that arms me with strength and keeps my way secure. Hi, my favorite scripture is Philippians 4 and 8, and it reads, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Jeremiah 29 11, for I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you a hope in the future. Hello, today I will share with you my favorite Bible scripture, Luke chapter 1 verse 37, for with God nothing shall be impossible, amen. Good evening, today I'm going to share my favorite Bible scripture, it comes from Isaiah 54 verse 17, no weapon formed against me shall prosper, amen. My favorite verse comes from Proverbs 3 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not into